Basically, same demo on a mobile processor with power envelope of two to three watts in. So basically, what you see here is the famous face called Ira, and uh, we are using the OpenGL 4.3 here, and um, we basically uh, have a well tessellation. And one of the, my favorite features we're using here is like. Uh, you see that this, this um, air the light coming, the light through, coming yes, through, yeah. it's called subsurface scattering. So it's a basically a very realistic effect of the lights coming through the skins or the any materials. And this is basically a feature which uh, was used in the past mostly on very, very uh, high-end PCs. And now everything is coming basically to down to the, the mobile class uh, hardware. So it's very, very detailed uh, phase. I can change the lightning. You can make it even closer. Look at this skin. Imagine that from next year, you can basically show it on your mobile or the tablet. So this is the first demo I was able to show here. And so let me show you the second one. It's called the island. So basically demo I'm using for showcasing uh, tessellation capabilities of mobile Kepler. So, look at the landscape. It's a pretty detailed landscape for the again, mobile class. And uh, I can turn on the wireframe model and you basically see all the polygons. And I think it's a pretty complex model. I mean, here you see we are rendering around 100K polygons. We can go closer, like 104K. And it's pretty small, so we're running around say two frames per second. And uh, I can disable the tessellation, which of course increase the amount of the polygons we need to we need to showcase. And uh, the frame rate is immediately dropping down, like uh, it's like 200 to 300 percent. We are around 11 frames per second, and you see that the performance is, is much worse than with tessellation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can again enable tessellation. Of course, you have like. Uh, much less polygons to render because uh, all the objects in the distance are not rendered uh, on this high level of details but uh, the performance is becoming much 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 better so it's like uh, imagine that we have a tessellation now on a, on a mobile class hardware you can do all these amazing models you know from the big games like imagine Assassin's Creed for example running on a, such type of the hardware very soon so um, this is pretty impressive where we are heading in a very short time.